What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder. Y'all see that? The Entrepreneur Kit, JNF Enterprises Entrepreneur Kit. We're going to get into this today because y'all know what we've been doing. Today is, <clears throat> is Think Different Thursday. Y'all know what we do on Thursday. We think differently as entrepreneurs, as as individuals, we think differently. We don't as extraordinary people, we think differently. That's what the word extraordinary means. It means extraordinary. So you I'm talking to all of my extraordinary people this morning. If you are extraordinary, let me let me see you put that in the chat. X hashtag extra Ordinary. I want you to put that in the chat for me there. Y'all know what we've been doing this week. All this week, we've been talking about that business ecosystem, building your business ecosystem, and even your personal ecosystem. You can use these same, um, these same principles and these same steps in order to be able to do that. But we've been focusing on happy uh, second day of Black History. Month, y'all know it's Black History 365. It's not just these these 28 days. Black History is more than just 28 days. We can't fit out history into 28 days. So y'all know every single day is Black History because you are Black History. But what we've been dealing with, what we've been talking about this week, I've been talking about Black Black Wall Street, y'all. Black Wall Street. If you can see that, I'm gonna zoom in on it and then I'm gonna get back on me. Can y'all see that? 600 businesses total. There were 21 churches, 21 restaurants, 30 grocery stores, 30, is that, yeah, 30 grocery stores, two uh, movie theaters, six private airplanes, plus a hospital, plus a, um, a, a post office, plus a, uh, a, a bank, get a bank, a hospital, post office, you had schools, a school system, you had a library, you had law offices, and, and something that's not even um, mentioned on here, um, but there, were also, there was also a hotel to end the Black Wall Street, which is the hotel that folks would stay at when they were in, uh, in that Tulsa um, Black Wall Street area, but this week we've had the five steps of force, um, five steps to building your business ecosystem, Black Wall Street style, um, Black History Month. We talked about vision, we talked about creativity, we talked about patience yesterday. Today we're going to talk about planning. We're going to talk about planning. Y'all see this, Entre this entrepreneur kit. This is what planning is all about. Building in the 21st century company. Y'all gonna hear me say that all the time because that's one of my foundations is building the 21st century company. How do we go about building the 21st century company? And Black Wall Street gave us the black print for how we go about building our ecosystem. How do we go about building the 21st century company? Um, because they were able to do so much with so little. I'm going to say that again. They were able to do so much with so little. And I look at where we are today in, in technology and in, in education. And I look at all of the things that we've, we've made advances in. And that we've, we've been a vital part of those advances. And I see that we haven't done nearly as much as, as Black Wall Street did. Can you imagine what Black Wall Street would be if they had access to the resources that we have today? I'm going to say that again. Can you imagine what Black Wall Street would have been if they had access to the resources that we have today? I'm going to let that marinate for you, let you marinate on that and think about it because it's, it, it's vital to our thinking and to see... You know, just to see what, you know, where, where, we, where we are versus where we've come from. And, and the planning that it took for them to build 600 businesses, 21 churches, 21 restaurants, 30, uh, what was it, 30, um, I can't think of it now, but... Um, uh, those are the grocery stores, 
30 grocery stores, two planes, a bus system, which was which is in essence a transportation system. They built all of that within that radius. You can't do that. You can't become the second uh, most powerful financial system that this country has ever seen without a plan. They 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 had each and in, in each individual business had a plan, but collectively they had an even bigger plan, creating that business ecosystem. And the thing of it is, the business ecosystem that they created, it wasn't like it was. I don't know if it was necessarily done. Um, on purpose, or if it was done, um, it was done uh, purposely. And what I mean by that is, they had no alternative. They knew in that Tulsa area, the the black people that lived in that Black Wall Street area, they couldn't shop anywhere else. I don't know if y'all are aware of the Black Wall Street story. But they couldn't shop. They couldn't even check this out. Y'all. They couldn't even shop in the very stores that they went to work for. I'm going to say that again for y'all. They couldn't even shop in the very stores that they worked for. Because there were, there were people that lived in that, wall, that Black Wall Street community that worked downtown. Tulsa in the stores that were downtown and they couldn't even shop there they had to do all of their shopping and all of their business within their own community that's what made it strong so it wasn't it was out of necessity but it was also um it it was forced behavior Behavior, if that makes any sense to anybody. So we've got to understand that that, that the, the business ecosystem that, that you're building, that we're building, it now it, it's not where it has to be forced, but I'm going to take forced and, and use this word for y'all. We must be intentional with what we do with our dollars. Be intentional on this Think Different Thursday with your business dollars. Be intentional with your personal dollars. That That's in the planning that they did with Black Wall Street. They understood, hey, if, if, if my business is going to flourish, I have to do business with Ms. Johnson over here. I have to do business with, with Mr. Leroy over here i have to do uh a business with um you know the 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 business owner over here i told y'all 600 businesses that's it when you look at when you look at the business landscape today and 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 i'll have to look it up because i didn't look it up today but i'll have it tomorrow 600 businesses versus how many businesses we have today and counting because there's there are Black-owned businesses opening every day. Every single day, there's another black-owned business that's open. So what are we doing to to plan for those businesses to be around? Are you an aspiring entrepreneur who is looking to have your business around for a while? Because I told you when I started my business, one of the things that I found was there was plenty of information out there. On how to start a business. You can find books galore. You can find. Now you can find YouTube uh, uh, videos all day long. They'll, they'll tell you and show you how to start that business. You can take all the classes you want on how to start a business. But what you aren't getting. And what I saw was it was missing. Was how to keep the doors open. What I saw and what I continue to see today. Is. The lack of planning. If you don't plan, if you if you plan, if you fail to plan, 
then you plan to fail. If you fail to plan, then you if you yeah if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Black Wall Street didn't fail. Why didn't they fail? Because they planned. They planned their businesses. They were intentional with their businesses. That that's how you build a a strong business ecosystem. Be intentional about your relationships. Plan for your business to be successful. Put those systems and, and processes in place that will allow you to not just open your doors or start your business, but to grow your business. We, we started off the end of last year going into this year saying, what does your 2023 look like? What are you planning for in 2023? We're already into the second month of 2023. This is the second month, which is the, 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 which is the second month of the first quarter of 2023. So what are we doing? Have you have, do you already have your plans for 2023? What did your what did your January of 2023 look like? Go back and look at what you planned. You said you wanted to do A, B, C, and D. Well, did you com- did you complete A, B, C, and D? And if you didn't, take a look at your plan. Take a look at what you, your vision, take a look at what you said you wanted to do versus what you were actually to do. And I'm going to give this comparison for you all Um, and and working, and I do this, you know, with my business now, but working in in corporate America, when when I worked in the hospitality industry, we we had to create a, a, um, a budgeting forecast, which is where... Uh, we would forecast what we would do for our particular, um, you know, the the particular department that we were in. Like I was in housekeeping, in front of the front office, and we would have to do a budget. We would have to do a forecasting budget, and and we part of that budgeting was planning of what we would do, you know, financially. What we, you know, what the expenses were going to be. What we, you know, materials that we needed to buy, the labor costs that we were going to have, we had to plan it out. And then we had to look at our budget, or we had to look at our forecast versus what we actually did. We looked at what we forecasted versus what it actually was. And we would look at it, okay, this is what we forecasted, this is what we budgeted. This is what we said we were going to do. This is what we actually did. And you had to look at those factors in which in your actual, what you did. So if I had budgeted $60,000, $50,000, okay, did I meet that budget of $50,000? Did I go over budget? Was I under budget? I have to look at that. I look at the things that I had to spend. If I was over budget, why was I over budget? Did I spend more than I actually needed? Was there something that happened that caused me to have to spend more money uh, than than I anticipated? If I was under budget, did I not spend enough money? Did I did I need to have spent more money, or were we good and and we didn't incur some things that we might have incurred prior to? So it's all in the planning, y'all. It's all in the planning. Building a business ecosystem takes planning. And and that's what Black Wall Street did. You don't get to 600 businesses and and have have the the most powerful, the second most powerful financial system that this country has ever seen without planning. You don't get to 600 businesses. You don't get to 21 churches, 21 restaurants, 30, uh, uh, 30 grocery stores. And, and what are you all, what are you doing collectively? Because it's not just about, you know, 
building the business ecosystem. It's what are you doing with it? And even within that, even once you've built the business ecosystem, what do you plan to do with it? So as you're building your business ecosystem, you want to think about your business ecosystem. And and you want to think about, okay, who, who do I have in it? Who do I need in it? And who can I add to it? Who can add to my business ecosystem? Whose business ecosystem can I add to? That's how you become the second most powerful financial system in, in this country. Is by planning. So how are you planning today? How have you planned for this week? Do you sit down uh, on Saturday or Sunday and plan out your week? Do you sit down on Monday and plan out your week? So that you're intentional about the things that you're doing. That you're intentional about building your business ecosystem. And and yeah, there are going to be things that, that come along that you might not, you know, be prepared for. Of course, there's always that. Especially when you're talking about weather and everything like that. And that was one of the things that we had to learn being in the hospitality industry being here in in Maryland, sometimes the weather is a factor. Especially in these months, January, February, March, these last three months of, of winter or the, the vital the, the kind of heart of winter, sometimes we we've had storms. And that had an impact on our budget. Sometimes it it, it blew us way over budget. You know, because we had to incur more expenses because of the snow, the weather, and everything like that. Sometimes we were other because the weather was nice. It, it didn't impact us like we were. Just like the hotel as a whole. One of the things that I learned was in these seasons, when you go through all of these four seasons and you have these, this, the winter season when, you know, when you get snow, you get bad weather, you get this bad, bad weather and people, people can't travel but people also who have traveled get stuck. So they're stuck in the hotel. You know, they, they're they stuck in a hotel. And they have to stay there too, which which improves your, increases your occupancy rate, which also incru- increases your bottom line. So those are factors. So when you see those spikes, you got to ask yourself, well, what was the spike for? Even in the stock market, when, when you see the stock market fluctuating, going up and going down, you always ask the question, well, what, what's, the, what, what's the impact? What's going on that's causing the market to go up or to go down? And being able to understand how money works. Understanding how money works will go a long way in your planning. That's that's part of the the business ecosystem is understanding money, understanding fin- the finance part of it. Yes, part of uh, building a business ecosystem is relationships, but it's also finance. It's also money, and understanding how money works, coming together uh, in certain partnerships because it's going to take you, your business, your brand to the next level. It's also going to take someone else their business, their brand to the next level. That That's how you do it. That's part of the planning. There's not one successful business that did not have a plan. Not one. I promise you. And, and, and yes, there are some people that say, well, you know, you don't necessarily need a business plan in order to be able to be successful. Some people have, have done that, but you have to have some sort of plan. You have to know where it is that you, where you are, where you're trying to get to, where you're trying to go. Because I promise you, if you don't know where you are, where you're trying to get to, you you won't be successful. I promise you. I promise you. And that there's not one business that that can tell you that they've been successful because they didn't plan. It may not technically be a business plan. But I promise you, they had to. They had a plan. They had to have a plan. They had to. So, that that well, today, it's about planning. What are your plans for your business, your brand, you? In in this next month, we're, we're two days in the into <laughs> in the Black History Month. Yeah, <laughs> two days in the Black History Month. But we're two months into February. Two months into the second month of the year. 
What are you planning? Think different Thursday, y'all. That's what we do. We think different. We think, and one of the things, and I'll say this and then I'm, I'm done. One of the things that uh, the dean of, of my uh, department uh, in the hospitality, in the uh, hotel restaurant management major, one of the things that he hopped on with us, and I, and I, and I took this from, from school. He talked about the bell curve. You know the bell curve that goes like this. He said you're either in front of the curve, on top of the curve, or behind the curve. On, in front of the curve, on top of the curve, behind the curve. Those that are behind the curve, I promise you, you don't have a plan. Those that are on top of the curve are probably making it up as they go along and are able to sustain themselves. But those that are in front of the curve, those, those of us that are in front of the curve, we see five years from now, ten years from now, just like Black Wall Street. They they saw when they first started Black Wall Street. They saw the plans of what what that town could be, what they could do, both individually and collectively. And and they began to do more with each other, build more with with each other, see the visions of each other business ecosystem y'all that's what it is business ecosystem is 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 vision creativity uh it's patience and it's planning and tomorrow we're going to talk about resilience (laughs) gotta have resilience because this thing gonna knock you down it's gonna knock you down and and i'm just you know this morning in my devotion and devotion time and and um in my walking man uh, let me tell you, it's folks that are going through some stuff. 2023 coming in with haymakers, y'all. But one of the ways that we get through these these storms and these times as entrepreneurs, as business owners, as managers, as, as supervisors, as, as, as line-level employees, the way that we get through... Is planning. Yeah, there's certain things that we can't plan for. But in your planning, trust me, you'll you'll be able to handle things a lot better if you have a plan versus if you don't have a plan. Having anticipated it versus trying to to, to deal with it on the fly. Being it's being uh we you used to call it preventive maintenance versus you know, oh, let's fix it once it, once something happens. You can't operate like that, y'all. We can't operate with a um, a non-preventive maintenance mindset. Preventive maintenance is planning. That that's what we've got to do. That's what Black Wall Street did. They planned for it. Trust me, Black Wall Street didn't just happen. It didn't just happen to happen. It happened because it was planned for. Those those folks that built Black Wall Street planned Black Wall Street. It got created because there was planning involved. Write the vision, make it plain. You've got your vision. Now have you written it on the tablets to make it plain? Are you planning for it? Because then once you plan for it, then you can implement it. So, that's what I got for y'all for this Think, uh, I mean, this Think Different Thursday. We got to go out here. We got to think different. Y'all see, I got my my Kemet gear on. My Kemet gear. You can go uh, check my check my girl out. Check my girl out. Sheena, uh, Sheena uh, Lynn, this is her gear. Kemet gear. Uh, I love uh what it means it is, yes it is from the um from the name ancient kemet uh in uh, uh egypt that's what it is her gear is phenomenal you can check her out i'll put the um the link in the um uh in the comments there as well for her you can you can go even <laughs> even that was planning they didn't just build the pyramids y'all that was planning 
They figured out how to do it, but they had to plan for it. Black Wall Street didn't just happen. They had to plan for it. So I want you today to think about it. I want you to plan for it. That's your word for today. Plan for it. Plan for it. Plan for it. Plan for it. We think different. We think different from everybody else, y'all. And that's what's going to make us successful. So go out. Plan for it today. Make it happen. This this uh, February 2nd, 2023. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow on the third day. The third day of Black History Month. Let's go. Black Wall Street. Let's make it happen.